When it comes to drawing, persistence and repetition is one of the best ways to improve your skills or even develop skills if you feel like you don't have any uh, at this point in time. Uh, which in the beginning you may feel like you don't have much skill. Your hand, hand and eye coordination uh, may not be the best. And the only, only way to improve that is by repetition and persistence. And, uh, you know, it comes down to practice. The more you do something, the better you're going to get at. And uh, I, I think it's such a simple concept. I think we all know this, but it's a lot, it's, it's much more difficult to actually do it, to actually put that piece of, of wisdom, that little chunk of knowledge into practice. You know, the best, the best way I can, I can think of to, to keep up that repetition is, is to enjoy what you're doing. You know, if, if you're not psyched about it, if you're not enjoying it, then it's gonna, you're not going to want to do it again. You know, there's some aspects of my job at work, you know, like building websites or stuff like that, that I don't really enjoy. And it, it's, it's something I really struggle with. And there's other things in my job where I'm doing animation or something like graphic design, and I really enjoy it. I'm really into it. And my day just goes by so quickly when I do those kinds of jobs. So, you know, I try to apply that to my art. You know, you really want to enjoy it. You want to draw what you like to draw. Uh, it's really that simple. But getting back to repetition and persistence, you know, you can think about anything. Like if you've ever tried to learn a new language, uh, one of the best ways to, to learn that, you know, how do you learn a new language? You, you're persistent with it. You do it a, a little bit of time uh, every day. The longer you do it every day, the better you might get at it over time. Uh, same with like working out at the gym, you know, to some extent, obviously you have to rest and let your brain process things. I think the same thing happens with drawing. You know, I think if you do 15 to 30 minutes a day, you're going to get better over time, especially like within a month. You can really see improvements within a month if you do, if you do it every day. You know, if you do it every other day, you'll see less improvement, but you'll still see improvement. And, you know, I recently been trying to learn piano, how to play piano and just, you know, play a few songs, learn some some uh, scales and stuff. And I've come across a lot of videos from great piano players on YouTube and stuff. And a lot of them say, you know, you only need to play, you know, 15 to 30 minutes a day. Like you don't have to play for eight hours every day. You have to let your brain kind of process things, your muscle memory. You know, like with learning piano, um, from what, what I've heard and what I've also experienced for myself personally, the longer I keep playing and keep practicing, there comes a point where I actually start getting worse. You know, like I keep playing the same song over and over and I actually get worse at it. I get kind of fatigued. And I think this can happen with drawing. So there's definitely a balance to this repetition. That's why I think taking that approach to like learning piano or learning a language or learning anything like that where it takes a lot of time, it's best to just do a little bit every day. You know, I, I think like an hour every day is pretty cool. That's kind of like the peak, you know, an hour. Like this drawing that I'm doing now probably took like 30 minutes to an hour. You know, just relax, just clear my mind. And I know overall, like even if the drawing doesn't turn out that great, Overall, it's still improving my hand-eye coordination. I'm still allowing my brain to kind of process what I'm doing. And, and sleep becomes an important part of that because that's where your brain processes a lot of stuff you do during the day is, is at night when you're sleeping. That, that's why drawing and, and things of that nature take so long because it's, it's, it's definitely a process. And it's, it's a natural process and you have to just there's no shortcuts really uh, when you when you want to get good at anything I mean take a look at nature when we look out at nature there's so many lessons to learn from nature but when you look at like a giant redwood tree or any kind of tree really uh, it can take a long time to grow into a, a giant adult tree you know nature doesn't rush things you know like when you look at the Grand Canyon like that took thousands of years to form this beautiful thing. And maybe parts of it formed quicker. Maybe parts of it took longer. But the point still stands. Like things don't happen overnight. So try to keep that in mind when you're doing drawing, when you're trying to learn. It's just starting out. You know, it's, it's, it's that repetition. And if, if you take a week off from it or something, 
you know, if you end up forgetting like, oh, I haven't drawn in a week, you know, don't feel bad about it. Just jump back on the wagon. You know, you can jump back on any given day at any given time. There's no, there's no failing at this. You know, there's times where I go a week or two where I haven't drawn and then I, I, I'll, I'll draw like two or three days in a row after that. And then I'll fall off again and then I get back on the wagon, start drawing again. You know, it's just a, it, it's a push and pull, this balance. You know, sometimes things happen in your life and you have to balance them. And sometimes things are really good and you end up drawing for a whole month straight. You know, this whole last month in December, I did one watercolor painting a day almost. You know, I did about 27 paintings in the, in the month of December. So it was a really good month. I was doing one every day. I'd come home and the first thing I would do was do a watercolor painting. It took about an hour out of my day. So I think if you can take that approach with your drawing, you're going to see improvement. But just try to cultivate that patience, stay persistent, and uh, develop that repetition, the hand-eye coordination. Over time, you'll see improvements. Anyway, I hope this uh, little talk helped you out, gave you some inspiration. So have fun drawing. Take care of yourself. Peace. <laughs>